Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game. Select properties. Go to in general tab. In the launch option type in dash DX12. And then you can launch the game and then check. Do not use DX11 in the launch option. So if you have DX11 in the launch option you can remove it or else you will receive an error. So do not use, you can try DX12 and then check if that does not work, you remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename the config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. To rename the config folder, open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open Your Username folder, now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show. Put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and then open little nightmares 3 folder save folder here you can see config folder make a right click and then you can rename this folder all the saved settings will be lost now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first now for this you can go to the same location, go to this location and then copy this little, little nightmares 3 folder and paste it to the desktop. Create a backup. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click on the game folder and then rename it. Once you rename it, now launch the game, the game will start from scratch. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here, your operating system, and then click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. So whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view and then click on download and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on ok. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next and once the clean installation is done, restart the computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows side box, click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. In my case, this is the location. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now find the game in the list. Click on the game and then select high performance over here. And then again click on add desktop app and then open this folder okay sorry go back open smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added again scroll down find the game in the list click on the game again select high performance and then relaunch the game next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files uh, you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete relaunch the game next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open smg folder binaries win64 and then make a double click over here launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again this time you can try windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply. Click on OK. Make a double click. Launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to 
allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not known bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security go to privacy and security in windows settings go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder select the gaming exe file click on open again add an allowed app browser apps open smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse open smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 to 22 download this x86 and x64 version install both the files run the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair click on repair if you see the install option hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once the installation is complete then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check make sure that you restart the computer still not working the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so if you have nvidia app installed in computer you can launch nvidia app and then you can go to home and if you see the game over here click on play try to launch the game from here and then check you can even go to settings now over here if you see optimize option like this so if you see optimize you can click on optimize and then you can check so select little nightmares 3 and then optimize it and then check now if it is already optimized like this in that case you can revert the optimization and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can go to desktop so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and once nvidia control panel is open uh, go to manage 3d settings in nvidia control panel so go to manage 3d settings and then uh, go to global settings and then click on restore over here click on yes and then at the bottom right you will see the apply option hit apply and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work go to help option over here and then select debug mode try debug mode over here and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options now over here if you see power saver like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high high performance you can try one by one but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check still not working disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this open windows settings go to or you can simply type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and over here click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already on then you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable or enable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game and then check if this is already off you can turn it on and then check so try both on and off 
if you have any other overlay application running like discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and turn off this nvidia overlay and then close nvidia app and then launch the game close all if you have any other overlay application close it do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner river tuner running or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then relaunch the game next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so if your monitors refresh rate is like 240 hertz this is just an example then you can lower it down to 120 hertz or 60 hertz and then check you can even go to windows settings and then go to system go to graphics uh, display and then you can go to graphics go to advanced display and over here you can select 60 hertz and then you can relaunch the game next step is to make changes in the registry now for this type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow now expand h key local machine and then system current control set system current control set and then control and then find graphics driver over here so here you can see graphics driver now once you select graphics driver on the right hand side if you see tdr delay or tdr level then set the value to zero in my case i don't have tdr delay or tdr level if you don't have it make a right click select new and then d word 32 bit value and then you can name this as tdr delay make a right click rename and then make a double click on tdr delay set the value to zero for hexadecimal you can set it to zero click on ok if you already have it make sure that you set the value to zero for tdr delay i don't have tdr level make a right click new d word 32 bit value and then name it as tdr level as it is where the t is in capital l is in capital t is in capital d is in capital and then make a double click again set the value value data to zero and then check if that does not work you can even select decimal over here set it to zero and then you can check so you can try both decimal and hexadecimal set the value as zero over here and then you have to restart the computer restart is a must and after the system restart you can check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart the computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step 
now still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update over here once all the updates are installed over here once it is 100 percent complete restart your computer and then let the update complete and then relaunch the game you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game try window mode and lower down video settings so launch the game if you can now once you launch the game you can go to settings and then go to video over here and for display mode you can if this is set to full screen uh, you can try window mode over here and then you can lower down resolution like if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and for entire analyzing, I have set to TA. Uh, so if this is set to DLSS frame generation, uh, you can try this TAA and then you can check. You can even uh, try XESS and then check. And if you're selecting FSR, uh, you can set this to quality. Uh, sorry, you can set it to medium. And if you're using DLSS, in that case you can again set this to medium and then you can check you can try vsync on and off both so if this is on you can turn it off and then check if it is already on you can turn it off frame rate i will just you can set it to maybe 60 i will set it to 60 and then go to advanced option apply the settings and then now if the quality is set to like high uh, if it is set to ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is battery is battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then check if you have any kind of external devices which you are not using, disconnect it. Like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse. So if you have key crown keyboard or mouse, razor, huntsman keyboard, you can disconnect it. Disconnect the dongle for these keyboard from the computer and then relaunch the game. If you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.